Hi there, I'm the Big Crago, and welcome to the next Diablo 3 video in the series. So, a couple of people have been talking to me about doing the vaults. I did a video a few days ago about uh, um, uh, doing Greed's vaults and getting gems from it, which was pretty, pretty well received. Um, the other sort of quirky one, uh, if you're relatively new to Diablo 3 or, or, or whatever, uh, you may not be aware of is the cow level. So I thought I'd actually show you guys what that's all about um, and sort of run through one. So from time to time, you're going to come across this particular legendary item. Uh, it's called a bovine uh, bardic. I believe how it's pronounced. Uh, it, the pole arm was crafted by the finest... Uh, Ungulated Smiths, its blade fired in the Hellforge, quenched in the rancid milk of the king, uh, Cow King, and enchanted by that self same monarch. In, in addition to its, uh, its significant uh, martial benefits, the bovine Abada, Bard, Barda, Bardic, uh, may also summon forth a veritable army of cows to fight on its mother's behalf. Kind of cool. So what you do is you head over to the queue and you pop this into the queue and you go and fight. Now, what I want to do is I want to see how it will work when... When you have the cube on. <coughs> have the cube on, have the crown on, sorry, I need to say. When you transmute it, basically says, "Okay, cool. We're about to get get into it. Um, if you do use the um, this particular cube, uh, it will actually destroy the item, as you see there, and it creates a portal. We go into the portal, reduce that." Build up some uh, speed and start to go around killing cows. Now, the damage that I'm pushing out is a lot less than normal because of not having the full set and that's why I thought I'd try it because hopefully I won't get killed <laughs> I am bringing them all together though, that's for sure. I'm just going to keep opening these chests in the hope that I can get some more gems and then I'm gonna, I think I'm going to have to change to the other Helm because I don't think I can do enough damage to these cows given what's going on at the moment. I'm just working my way around, opening all the chests and hoping that that'll give me some extra gems.
don't really want to find out. Oh, there's so many cows, man. This is crazy. See how we go now. seem to work 394 not unhappy with that <laughs> just died going too badly here. Just gotta make sure that we don't lose the momentum. I'm going to put the helm back on. Let's see if we can get some. 
some more. So I just want to make sure that there's no more baddies that are going to mess me up as well. Send a podcast to the group. Cleared out this level. Okay, I'll swap these sounds around again. about that but you know it is what it is walking my way around now, sort of clearing up the, uh, the goodies, things like this hopefully we can get. Infernal bovine, there you go. gems that I want. rubbish items but I'll pick them up nonetheless until I run out of space at least. Pretty good all in all.
that's the difference. There's some quirky things like this in Diablo, which I always think are cool. Little sort of fun things that when you run around and do a bunch of riffs and stuff, you eventually come across them. to like this mystical whimsical land which is all full of like painted unicorns and it's, it's a complete cracker um, I'm thinking that we're nearly done sell my uh, very good helm. I would be pretty upset if I did that. Alright, so we got 12 uh, emeralds, 4 rubies, 6 diamonds, and a topaz, plus a bunch of gold. So, not unhappy with that. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you that. If you hadn't seen the cow level before, that's where it exists. That's how you do it. Um, as always, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Greenwich Mean Time plus 10 hours if you live outside of Australia. Uh, Mondays is Minecraft, Wednesdays is Diablo 3, and Fridays is 7 Days to Die. So uh, feel free to come and check it out on Twitch under the Big Crago. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video and you feel I've earned it, feel free to give us a like uh, and consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, it means a lot and helps me out and lets me know that you uh, appreciate the content I'm doing. Uh, keep the comments coming below. Uh, the direct messages on Facebook and stuff like that are really cool too. Uh, just let me know how you're going with your season journey and how you have found maybe the cow level. Uh, other than that guys, have a good one. I hope you're having a great festive season, uh, Christmas and New Year's. Uh, and as always, I look forward to seeing you on the battlefield.